The Cincinnati Bengals fell to the Kansas City Chiefs 26 to 25. And a lot of Bengals fans are trying to put this loss on the refs for the controversial pass interference call that set Kansas City up to get the game winning field goal. But here's the thing you know, when you play Kansas City, you can't allow Patrick Mahomes, despite how bad he may play, to have the opportunity to win the game because some way, somehow, he's going to find a way to walk away with the victory, even if he doesn't play his best game. And the Cincinnati Bengals had the lead going into the fourth quarter of this game. And then once we got into the final 15 minutes, they just completely fell apart. This was a huge meltdown that Cincinnati had against Kansas City. First of all, you had the Joel Burrow fumble which led to a scoop and score. Kansas City ends up taking a 23-22 lead, and this was right after you just got a crazy interception. It was like a one-hand interception by Cam Taylor Britt, an incredible play, and then you get an unsportsmanlike conduct penalty on Jamar Chase because he's going got the refs. I guess they didn't call the the hit-drop tackle, which they, they aren't calling that for as much emphasis as they were putting on player safety. You, you think they will be calling that, but I've yet to see a penalty called on any hip drop tackle. So then you also have the fact that Cincinnati couldn't seal this win. And you know when you play the Cincinnati Bengals, well, when you play Kansas City, you have to be able to put this team away in the fourth quarter. You have to leave no doubts that they have no chance, not even a 0.2% chance to win the game. And Cincinnati was unable to put the Chiefs away. And that's why the Chiefs are walking away 2-0 and Cincinnati is 0-2. Now, Cincinnati is going to be able to bounce back from this because they always get out the slow starts. It doesn't matter how tough their schedule is. They're one of those teams that they get better as they progress throughout the season. And you want to play your best football all throughout the year. But ideally, as long as you're playing your best football, around Thanksgiving and going into December, early January, those are the months that count the most because that's when the contenders separate themselves from the pretenders. And that's when everybody who's trying to make that late playoff push starts putting their their foot to the pedal, their foot on the gas. And Joe Burrow has always showed us that despite how slow of a start he may get out to the season, He always ends up playing high-level football once we get into the final weeks of the regular season. But this was a really tough loss because when it comes to getting home field advantage throughout the playoffs, this is going to be a game that you look back upon and you're going to think about the Cincinnati Bengals having this fourth quarter meltdown and you're going to say, okay, if we would have won this game, if we could have kept our composure, maybe that would have been the difference in us having to play in the wild card round and having the first round bye. The Cincinnati Bengals, I'm not worried about them in terms of if they're going to be able to bounce back because they're playing the Browns, they're playing Pittsburgh, and they're playing the Baltimore Ravens team that right now, they got a huge reality check from the Las Vegas Raiders. That offensive line is a mess. I I love Cincinnati's chances to win the AFC North. They were my preseason pick to win this division. So I'm not worried about this loss too much, but you know, like they, they just completely fun with the opportunity to beat Kansas City because they just melted in the final 15 minutes. They lost their composure. Like, you got Zach Taylor who has to bring Jamar Chase to the sideline, try to calm him down. Like, you know when you play Kansas City, you got to keep your head in the game. You, you, you lose the game, not just on the field with Kansas City, but you lose the mental game, man, because you, you can't check out. Like, when the Ravens played Kansas City in the AFC Championship, when Lamar threw that interception and he threw his helmet on the sideline, it was over. You, you can't tap out against Kansas City. You can't get frustrated because this is what comes with playing the Chiefs. You know that the, the Zebras are always going to have a few calls that go their way, but you can't say the refs rigged this game for Kansas City Because right before they got that controversial pass interference penalty, you know what happened before that? They had illegal hands to the face on their left tackle, which set them back. They won a fourth fourth down and impossible, and they still got it. You know, you can't allow Patrick Mahomes to win the game. There were situations when Cincinnati was settling for field goals when they should have been trying to score touchdowns. And that's why it's so difficult to beat Kansas City, especially when you have to play them on the road 
and the tough environment that is Arrowhead.